Hey guys, this is Norman over with Soundtracks here, and today we're going to talk about a few quick tips to help make your soldering just that little bit better. So let's get started. So in front of us here, I've got a PCB to which I have done two solder joints. We have one here, which is our good one, and then over here we have an example of a bad solder joint. Now one of the first things we want to discuss is the use of flux. Now, We've mentioned in the past why you want to be careful with your flux selection because certain types of flux can have acidic compounds in them, specifically zinc chloride, which can impact the operation of various components on the decoder itself if it flows onto it. However, far be it from us to say we are against flux. In fact, I highly recommend for its use when soldering to our decoders because one of the best things about flux is it it makes it much easier to get those very good solder joints and not those bad ones. In fact, if you do accidentally create one of the bad joints, I'm gonna show you how easy it is with flux to fix that. So, if I just apply a little bit of flux to this bad solder joint here, and then I apply my soldering iron to it, you can see just how easily that now looks like the good joint. Now. We also recommend utilizing flux when you're soldering to wire because when we strip the ends of this and we apply a little bit of flux, if we get a little bit of solder on our tip and we just barely touch it to the end of the wire, you can see just how easily that solder now flows onto the wire. And again, that's because we are using our flux. So again, the use of the flux makes the actual job of soldering much, much easier. One of our most frequently asked questions is what sort of flux do we use? Now this is a commercial grade of flux. It's not available typically for purchase in single tubes. We buy this in bulk. However, there is another type of flux that we typically recommend. It's called Chip Quick, and you'll find it linked at DigiKey down in the description. One other thing you may have noticed when I was soldering to this wire is that actually the insulation peeled back a little bit from where I had initially stripped it to. And that's another thing you'll want to bear in mind is when you strip a wire, you can see how much I've stripped there. However, if I get a little bit of flux on there, and then solder to it, you can see that, that, that it moves back a little bit. It withdraws. So one of the other things you'll want to do is keep an eye on how much that withdraws. So if it goes back too much, just trim back it, trim it back to however much you actually need. Or what, what I prefer to do is actually strip much less insulation than you think you're going to need stripped back and utilize the fact that it's going to withdraw in order to get it to the appropriate length. So one final tip here is make sure if you're soldering to a wire to a pad, make sure you're using tweezers. Tweezers make, good, make fine control of these wires much, much easier for two reasons. One is that you can actually grip much, much closer to the end of the wire here without risk of burning your fingers. If I were to try holding this, like here, then what would happen is as I soldered, the heat would wick up the wire and I could possibly burn my fingers. However, because I'm using tweezers, that's no longer an issue because the tweezers don't care how hot they get. The other thing that this does is this grants a finer level of control. Because you can get those tweezers closer and they're much finer than fingertips, utilizing tweezers allows us to get Utilizing tweezers allows us to get a much, grant us much more control over our wire, allowing for much cleaner joints exactly like that. So guys, I hope this was helpful. As always, if you have any further questions, you can always uh, email us at support at soundtracks.com. If you have any questions about the decoders themselves, be sure to check out our user's guides at soundtracks.com. And be sure to like, subscribe, ring, comment, ring that little bell icon so you all get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's going to be all for this video. Thanks so much for watching.